Hey guys, welcome back to Smart Wallet and Me, where financial wisdom really matters. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to get real stock prices into an Excel spreadsheet and it will update automatically without having you re-entering it in manually. The first thing you want to do is get your ticker from Yahoo or wherever else you have it. So in this case I want to put in MSFT. So you can just put in MSFT. Um, and let's say if you want to do Apple, I already have these memorized, but you can go ahead and uh, pick whatever stocks you guys have, like Google, you can get uh, Verizon. In this scenario, in this particular case, I'm just going to use these four stocks. So click anywhere on here and then do Control T or Command T to convert this into a range. And um, you can see that I don't have any headers, so I'm not going to click this and I'm just going to click OK and you can see that this automatically was converted to a table and it just makes it very easy to work with. So now click all of these ticker symbols and go to your data tab on the very top here and then click on stocks. Click on that and you can see that all of these now are converted to a uh, stock name and then what you do you can just um, expand this so that it goes into your entire uh, width of your column and then just click here and then on the very top you can see that there's an option here where you can insert data so click on that on the very top right hand side and you can pick from any of these options here to put and track on a, on a live basis. So what I want to do is I want to click on the price and then you can see that it brought the price in already. I can also drop, click on the drop down menu and get the 52 week high. Click on it again, the 52 week low. And if I want to get the, let's say the change. So I know that this stock is now trading at $200.39, the 52 week high was this, the 52 week low was this, and it changed this by as of today. And furthermore, what you can do is just click on this column here and go to your home tab and do a conditional formatting. So here what I want to do is I want to say highlight the cells that are less than zero. I want them to be uh, filled with the light red right here so I'm going to click OK and you can see that right now the stock market is down we are not doing very good with the stock market currently okay the stock market is going down right now as we speak so if you want to refresh this data what you want to do is click on data and then you can see that the price is two hundred dollars and thirty nine cents so what you want to do is click refresh all and you see that it went down to two hundred dollars and twelve cents so everything got updated automatically whenever you hit click refresh all and you can be anywhere on the on the on the table and let's say if you want to add one more let's say I want to add another one let's say I want to add Tesla to this stock so I click the Tesla ticker symbol and then click enter and uh, you can see it automatically updates and provides all the information that I just had entered in and let's just say if you want to add one more item here, let's say I want to add the P.E. ratio. You can go in and add the P.E. ratio and there you go, it adds it for you automatically. And then you click on refresh all and it refreshes everything. You see it just keeps going down. <laughs> Anyways guys, I hope this information was useful for you. And um, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I know a lot of people are tracking their stocks and this is a very easy way to keep track of it and to update the information automatically. Alright guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.